looks like it should be dry, but it could be on the cold side. Today, we did have a bit of cloud for inland areas. It was dry, some glimmers of blue sky, but the best of the sunshine was around the coast. We saw some sea breezes developing that pushed the cloud inland and gave us some gorgeous blue skies around the Kent and Sussex coastline. Tomorrow we'll have some sunshine. It should be mainly dry and fine. That's because we've got high pressure with us. A little bit cloudier on Wednesday as that weak weather front clears its way through. It's the end of the week where we see this cold front moving its way further south. It allows a flood of northerly winds to set in and you'll notice we're underneath the blue for the map so that does indicate that temperatures are expected to be below average, perhaps at around 11 to 12 degrees. For tomorrow we may start off on a chilly note but temperatures will pick up through the afternoon so feeling a little warmer tomorrow with those sunny spells. Through the night tonight we might see some mist and fog forming at times but generally clear skies and temperatures will dip down to around about three to four degrees. So chilly at first thing, but any mist and fog then lifts and clears. We'll see some sunny spells, a bit of patchy cloud through the afternoon. Generally light winds and around the coast temperatures at 14 to 15 degrees, but they are picking up inland at 16 to 17. Not as cold then as we start Wednesday morning with more cloud around. The best of the sunshine really first thing on Wednesday. We saw that weak weather front and that starts to introduce more overcast skies through the afternoon, but it should stay dry perhaps out to the west. Some rain arriving later on in the evening and those temperatures 15 to 16. So not quite as high as tomorrow, but still not too bad. It is towards the end of the week that we start to see that cold air moving its way in still with high pressure with us so those temperatures should be should be dry but it's those temperatures we'll really notice the feel of things at the moment it's expected to be around 11 to 12 degrees our daytime high and again we could see a little bit of overnight frost as well so a bit of a shock to come for our bank holiday weekend but that high pressure stays with us through to bank holiday Monday so hopefully there are signs at the moment it is a long way off in weather forecasting terms but it should start to get a little bit warmer by the time we get to the bank holiday Monday. So those temperatures once again starting to pick up. So really not a great deal of rain in the forecast, warmer tomorrow, but really worth being prepared that it is going to get colder by the end we of the week. We could do with a bit of rain though. Yeah, but an overnight frost in May. Yeah.